Hello. Please buy none of these. Previously, those with 350 to spend and 15 friends will find yesteryear's Pack Talk Slim is still best in class. Uh, of the top class. Thanks for watching. Oh wait, I only have three friends, and more often I ride alone, weeping to emo ballads, flirting with my GPS unit, phoning helplines. For that stuff, mid-range comms work just fine and save money. But which is best? Cardo Freecom 4 Plus, a boss brand with all the features you'll realistically use in Intercom for 4. 260 bucks. The edge here is always on voice command. Hey Cardo, call Camilla. Okay Google, navigate to Havana Una Na. That's a premium feature. Every other mid-range comm won't listen unless I pull a hand from the bars and poke it first. Senna SFR, another trustworthy name, also for riders, also $260. The edge here is that it's plateless. Other comms claim to be 20 millimeters thin, only to require a thick ass base plate that defeats the point. By contrast, everything the SFR needs is in the SFR. Clean. You clear. The kind of brand to not only green screen a rider into their promo video, but to put him on the wrong side of the road. Hey, hon. Yep, almost done. So less reputable, which is why their Motion 6 features more features for the same price. Chiefly mesh, that hot word otherwise only found above $350. Mesh Bluetooth networks automatically connect any riders in range, so there's no more dropping connections, pulling everyone over, reforming pairing hierarchies, repairing devices, blah, blah, blah. Mesh is a lot less work. Six riders, too. VNet Phone V6 Pro. Who? Some Amazon special. The edge here is obviously price. It boasts six riders, the usual phone, GPS, music stuff, but costs $60 instead of $260. And finally, the Motorola T605 Walkie Talkie. Edge here is reliability. This is what we communicate with on shoots. It's a more foolproof option for those with a $60 budget. Of course, you give up most of the comm functions and gain a few, but we'll get to that. Stated ranges are 1.2 kilometers, 1.2 kilometers, 1.2 kilometers, 1.2 kilometers, 35 miles. And such is the first benefit of escaping the confines of Bluetooth. Of course, brochures, like pastures, are usually covered in bullshit. So I'm disappearing into the Verizon to find real life ranges. Can you hear me now? Good. Can you hear me now? Good. Can you hear me now? Not good. You clear drops first at 270 meters. Cardo breaks contact at 410, VNet phone at 520, and Senna lasts till 620 meters, which would be impressive if it weren't still half the advertised range. I was nearly in Japan when the Taki finally died. That range means you'll pick up Weather Radio Canada or NOAA radar reports from almost anywhere. Lay less Stroud types will be pleased. Too quiet is the perennial calm complaint. So we'll install each unit, replace my head with a decibel meter, and then play the Canadian national anthem at full blast. Euclear is loudest at 94 decibels, followed by Senna and Cardo. VNet foam pumps a pitiful 77 decibels, and the talkie is irrelevant because you choose the headset separately. Buy the loudest speakers you like, Grandpa. Cardo's sound fidelity is most impressive, thanks to their partnership with JBL. While every other manufacturer struggles to make speakers that work, Cardo does the grown-up thing and pays smarter people to do it for him. JBL made loudspeakers for the 
first talking movies. And they pumped out Jimmy's love tunes at Woodstock, and now they're audiophiling Cardo's most expensive communicators. For some unknown reason, Cardo let this mid-price Freecom 4 have the same treatment. I'm not surprised Uclear was loudest. These Pulse Pro 2.0 speakers are also stolen off a more expensive unit. And Uclear actually lets us customize sound profiles, something Cardo annoyingly locks off unless you buy their top-end pack talk. Uclear is not completely innocent of feature locking, mind you. The Motion 6 has two sensors. One is a laser that lets you control common functions with hand gestures. It sounds handy for bulky gloves, in reality very finicky to work effectively. The other sensor, though, is a triaxial motion one that can tell when you've crashed and send alerts. That's brilliant. And of course, that's the feature they lock off unless you buy their highest end model. It's extra aggravating because this unit powers on and off by motion, so we know the hardware is in there. Quoted talk time is 13 hours, 13 hours, 18 hours, 12 hours, and 23 hours. We've found that to be more like 16. To expose the other liars with a torture test, I'll play Justin Bieber at 60 decibels until the poor units die. Cardo conservatively claims four hours. Senna boasts quick charging technology that will reload their unit in 1.5. Euclear and VNet Phone both ask riders to wait two and a half hours. And the walkie? Well, Motorola's rechargeable battery pack has the energy density of a burnt marshmallow. So learn from my experience and invest in double A's. I'll note that Motorola and Uclear, ever with something to prove, gift us a wall charger and some travel chargers in the box. The latter one is a bit confusing since Uclear's device can't actually be charged while in use. A misstep matched only by the cheapo V6 Pro. Those two suffer most on appearance too. VNet Phone's designer is a small-fingered sadist, clustering nine buttons, nine, in an area that will fit under my thumb. Meanwhile, Euclid's idea of the future is the kind you need a DeLorean to get to. Dated. Listen to your battery-powered radio for instructions. Senna's SFR and Euclid's Motion 6 are a confidence uninspiring weatherproof. Our eBay special is IPX5, surviving the jets of my makeshift monsoon, and Cardo's Freecom, along with Motorola's T605, are both IP67, fully dustproof, fully waterproof up to a meter. And yeah, the talkie floats and flashes for when your water crossings go poorly. All of them should survive rain, but there's a reason we prefer to over-engineer things. Pro tip, if you shoulder mount the radio, you're gonna get hands-free illumination of your map, tools, tent pegs, whatever. The Freecom set up intuitively. I sound a bit scratchier than advertised, but also less like a bad actor. You ready to ride? Take the lead, I'll follow you. Senna's SFR set up and sounds the same. No complaints. Euclid's Motion 6 definitely sounds more the edge. In their eternal struggle to distinguish themselves, Euclid forgoes the mouth boom in favor of two mics behind the cheek pads. The idea is that a multi-mic array lets you beamform, constructively interfering sound waves that come from between the mics and destructively interfering everything else. And that's ambient sound cancellation at the source. Every other comm just uses digital signal processing to filter out some road noise after the fact. As a result, Euclid works better than the competition 
in extremely noisy environments like an open face helmet. Whereas in a regular full face, the mic array is unnecessary and a bit unnatural sounding. Zenet Sun's V6 Pro sounds better than you, Clear. Worse than Senna or Cardo. And despite surely using newest production process and ultrasonic structure without screw, it took me 40 minutes and four YouTube videos to figure out this installation. And don't call me Shirley. One wonders why VNet phone brags about not using screws, one wonders why they bother to mold fake ones, but we need not wonder what happens when this unfixable thing breaks. Finally, the walkie-talkie is loud as hell. Reliable as shit. Just pick a channel and privacy code. This is the OG mesh network. Anybody, as many buddies as you want, can punch into the conversation. Succinctly, Cardo's Freecom 4 is your best choice. Senna's SFR is okay if you happen to find a good deal. The Icon RAU is actually the same communicator for $40 less. Euclear I would avoid, except for those with open face helmets where the mic array actually becomes useful. And for 60 bucks, VNet Phone's V6 Pro is surprisingly competent. I'd still rather buy a walkie-talkie that only works as a communicator, but will always, always work. Thanks. So this is that awkward part where I tell you to discount the last 10 minutes of advice. If your friends already have comms, don't buy what's best, buy whatever they use. Because like Capulets and Montagues, these devices only like to talk to their own kind. Communication across family lines is possible, but the results are a tragedy.